during versus while mastering time prepositions in English. Hello, language learners. Welcome back to our Grammar Fundamentals series. Today, we're going to explore two commonly confused prepositions in English, during and while. Both of these words are often used to talk about something happening within a specific time frame, but they aren't interchangeable. Let's dive in. During is a preposition that we use to indicate that something happens within a particular period of time. It's followed by a noun, which can be a specific event, a period of time, or an experience. For example, I fell asleep during the movie. It rained a lot during the summer. She learned a lot about herself during her journey. Remember, during is always followed by a noun. While, on the other hand, is a conjunction that connects two events happening at the same time. It's used to introduce a clause, which means it is followed by a subject and a verb. For instance, I fell asleep while I was watching the movie. It started to rain while we were having a picnic. She discovered a new hobby while she was on her journey. With while, you're explaining two concurrent actions. Now that we've explored during and while separately, let's look at how they differ. 1. During is a preposition used with a noun to tell us when something happened. While is a conjunction used to show that two actions were happening at the same time. 2. With during, the focus is more on the event or period of time. With while, the focus is on the action that was happening at the same time as another action. Let's practice with some sentences. I received a call, blank, the meeting. During, while, blank, she was cooking, the phone rang. During, while, try to fill in the blanks using during or while, depending on the context. And there we have it. The next time you're unsure whether to use during or while, remember the key differences we've discussed today. During needs a noun to describe when something happened, and while needs a clause to illustrate two things happening simultaneously. Keep practicing, and soon enough, you'll use these prepositions confidently in your conversations. Thanks for tuning in. And remember, learning English is a journey, so enjoy every step along the way. Happy learning!